So I realized a little problem with my character design. Um, aside from the fact that he is butt naked in a loincloth on snowy frozen ground. Uh, right now he looks a bit cross-eyed. And the reason for that, if I zoom in more, is he has purple eyes, but the white part of the eye is black. And that's another reason why he has been tormented most of his life is because he has such creepy evil eyes. Uh, I found this option in the eye mod that I have and I was like, yes, this fits with my tormented character idea so well. But I don't think I pointed those out. But when I zoom out, it looks like he has white eyes with black pupils and they are making him cross-eyed. <laughs> so he, he looks really derpy right there. That's right. That's right. Get your hobo chic on. Volin's fabricated equipment. Staff of the creeping cold. Frost damage per second to health and stamina after six seconds. It freezes them for 60 uh, damage. That one is nice if they live that long. It's a beam attack. Uh, I have had it as a spell on a different character. And so I do know how it works from that description. Uh, Black hide. I'll equip that instead of the one that I had picked up. I'm probably going to have to start dropping some of these things like maces and great swords and stuff like that because I am just starting this map and I'm already at uh, what? 253 of 355. Lady. Go ahead, try and fight back. Okay. <laughs> I will be taking their bones. Uh, yay! Eight locked. I mean, that is the first lockpick I ever used, and uh, I failed to open so many chests that it finally snapped on the first tap. All right, I'm gonna go back to this point. Oh, it moved on me. My mouse is a little too sensitive, so sometimes it moves on me, which makes master locks really difficult. Uh, six for 25, no, nine for 25, hell no. Uh, da, da, da. And septum, I'll do an Akatosh dichotomy. I try to read books when I pick them up so I can tell in the future whether or not I've seen them in the past. I do not want to read this one because this one bring uh, is a mod that does the rift in face changer guy and so that uh, gives you the option to change your appearance. I don't need to change my appearance. Okay, dude that died over here, lock pick in a hand. All right. Last skeever. Now, this is a really nice staff, but I don't know that I want to use it because I believe the skeever and the dark elf are the only things in here that won't take reduced damage from it because Draugr may not take. Oh, and the bandit who would die from the trap if I don't take him out. Um, but they, uh, the, the Draugr might take reduced damage from ice and frostbite spiders might take reduced damage from ice. So, this dude, ow. I like this uh, Prepare for Adventure spell. It definitely makes it easier to play as a caster because you don't have to worry about finding all of your equipment in the beginning. However, my god, does it take forever to... Uh, snake, snake, fish. It takes forever to get your... Um, you know, I don't know what I was saying. It, it takes forever to 
first of all, to get a staff worth using, because that's difficult. Uh, using the staff is not going to increase my skill very much, if at all, compared to actually killing them with spells. Like, if I ran around just slapping everyone with my fire fist, like, I just, uh, I just alerted the skeevers that I'm up here. There should be three of them. Oop. Ah. Hey. I said attack. I'm sure I'm not the only one who heard it charge up and then do nothing. So, healing. Now, there were a few things back up here at the top of the stairs before I pissed off the skeevers, but I didn't want them to attack me while I was trying to loot it. Uh, there's a soul gem. That's a must. Chest. Uh, empty burial urns. Woo, four septums. Looks like my uh, hood has some blood on it. Just went away. And there were my gear. So, I want to go back to flame... Du oh, okay. Uh, there we go. Prepare for adventure. And... That is the biggest problem here. Um, the items not being able to be favorited because they count as different. Although, I believe the style of robe is changing each time I summon them, which is kind of cool. Uh, Staff of Hailstones, Crystal that shares for 15 damage, bypasses Frost Resist. Well, that uh, negates that concern, doesn't it? Let's say, ah, Spell Tone Night Eye. I'm taking these linen wraps because one of the mods I have allows me to use linen wraps to make clothing. Night Eye appears to be a staple in here now that I have a mod of some sort that puts it there. Because I do not remember that being a vanilla thing. I think in vanilla only Khajiit are able to summon or able to cast Night Eye whenever they want. Everyone else has to find potions of Night Eye. So, uh, remove that. And I didn't actually equip it, it looks like. Safe. Well, that didn't do much. And that's why I love the Flaming Hand spell. <laughs> it is so strong. Oh, sweet! Anyone watch South Park? Dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. Although in this case it's a uh, skeever. This dude is annoying. I do look a little bit like a uh, Dunmer. Yes, Dark skin, no, pointy ears, sorry. skinny face. I think I even have uh, brow ridges. Wait, I think that's what they call it. Now, I hate chasing this dude. I am not chasing you. Need that. Sure. That. Uh, read that. Take it. Take it. Leave that. Now, when it comes to fighting the actual Draugr up ahead, I'm definitely not using this staff. This staff is slow. It does not do much damage. Like, you compare the amount of damage it did to that Frostbite spider against the uh, hitting it once with the Flaming Hands. The Flaming Hands did like three times as much damage. And Draugr are weak against fire, which means even if the Frostbite Spider wasn't taking reduced damage from the Frost Weapon, the Draugr would take even more damage from the fire. So, on that note, go up to Flame Touch. Oh, well, fine then. I will manually add it. Hello! And 
level up. In the past, I have been terrible about doing my level ups. Uh, I'm going to try to be a bit better about it this time around. I think I'm going to do this one because Conjuration spells will last longer per rank of Conjuration, which means the armor that I am summoning will last longer. I might get that one if it means that it either summons better gear or if it means that it increases the duration. But because I am going a Conjuration line for this character as opposed to my usual uh, Destruction Mage, or alteration mage or sneaky person and slap 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 that is why this uh, spell is so powerful <laughs> you can just keep firing it off I did not mean to pick all that up you can add that back and these are 7 for 15 yeah, that's not bad uh, you can have that back Definitely, you can have that back and that. Okay, now we're doing better. I'm not going to bother looting all the lightweight stuff off of them. A couple of gold here, maybe a potion, maybe a scroll. My spells are pretty low. Or my magicka. Burn. Ooh. There we go. Arrows are weightless, so I will take those. Uh... Oh, a pearl. Now, oof, those. There's a chest up here, so I am going up here first. Nope. It's a Prentice, so it's better than uh, those in the past. So if it's not there, it's probably going to be right up against this edge. No. Okay. In that case that edge. I went the wrong way. Gah, banded iron shield. Bunch of heavy stuff that I don't intend on taking. Now because I am squishy, this uh, this could cause problems. So I'm gonna zoom in. Ow. And healing. They shouldn't be getting close enough to hit me. Oop. Stop it. Whew. Uh, being a low HP character, that is not a uh, fun thing to go through. My armor wore off, so that doesn't help. My spell wore off. Uh, my oak flesh spell wore off. Unbound fire. Oh god, not that one. The flames randomly jump to the caster. Yeah, uh, don't feel like it. So that is a much, uh, much more solid looking cloak. This is a much more ragged, wild looking cloak. I kind of like this one more. It shows off my manly shoulders or something. Alright, so do that and I think here I'm just going to undo that having flame touch on my primary hand will be enough I really don't need to uh, have it on both hands it doesn't really help as you can see that spell is amazing for increasing your destruction skill You didn't like that, did you? <laughs> okay. That 
takes care of them. And... It's definitely a riskier thing having to get up close and personal like that with it, but it is so strong compared to the other spells I had available to me, compared to the ma magicka cost of the other spells that were available to me. It's just heads and tails above them as far as power and uh, value go. And I learned about that spell on a different character because I, uh, I was trying to figure out how I could raise my destruction skill as a really bad fighter so that I would be able to use some better destruction spells. And I learned that I could use it on conjured creatures like animals that don't fight back. Works so well there. Hello! It's just such an assault weapon. <laughs> Yes. I always like those because you don't even have to damage all oh, cheap. Now unfortunately, um the bones that you get for summoning skeletons only come off of humanoids that you kill. You cannot find them off of bodies that already exist, you cannot find them off of skeletons that were placed in the dungeons. It doesn't just add them to humanoid corpses, it adds them to humanoids that you kill. Alright. And this, I believe, is the last room in the first section, leaving me... Ow! Holy moly! Okay, that... <laughs> should have killed him, but I missed because I was in third-person view. And I probably lost a bit of progress there. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to win this fight, I'll end the video, get back to where I was, and start the next video there. And it looks like you cannot break the... It looks like you cannot break the um, webs with this hand spell. So... Uh, Sorry I lost in the last room. You will get to start the next video in the last room of this dungeon, walk through to the next one, and then go through the rest of the dungeon, back to Riverwood, sell things, go back to Far and Gar, turn in the dragon's go dragon stone, possibly fight the first dragon of the game, and see you in the next video. <laughs>